Bang is back. Welcome to a Grand Prix 2, everybody. I've been looking forward to this uh, very much. Uh, it's been delayed a little bit because nowadays I have a new boss and she is very, very demanding. She is about one and a half weeks old and he, uh, she pretty much decides my schedules nowadays, but this time I managed to get uh, get some free time and uh, we're starting out our hardcore season in in uh, Grand Prix 2 and I'm nervous this game this it's, it's very difficult uh, especially with wheel and pedals and uh, yeah there we go let's check out the control method for uh, first thing as you can see we don't have steering help or opposite lock on and by the way hello i racecraft and taka harvey welcome to the stream guys nice to see you uh opposite lock help is also off i kind of debated whether or not i should uh, allow myself to have it because it's very very difficult to uh save save the car if if you lose the rear because there's no force feedback but then I decided that only inferior people use driving helps, so no driving helps. And obviously I'm joking, so please, inferior people, don't get offended. Uh, and let's check out the driver here. As you can see, Friedrich Bang has taken the seat of Eddie Irvine. And if that's not enough, he also took his helmet. So, sucks to be him. Uh, yeah, we're driving for Jordan Hart this season. And we're not going to fight for the championship, that's for sure. I've made it so in the GP edit so that uh, the car power is team dependent. So we're going to lack horsepower compared to the front running teams. Uh, compared to Williams, I think we have something like 80 horsepowers less. And... Uh, against Ferrari even more, but Ferrari sucks in other ways, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's definitely a handicap that I cannot... Uh, I cannot uh, clear, but, yeah. Hard power, indeed. Let's uh, go to the drive menu and start ourselves a championship season. And, of course, first race! Interlagos, Brazil, and because only the untalented practice, we go straight to the qualifying. And something is very badly wrong at the moment. Uh, the game is running super fast. Uh, that was a surprise. Uh, what the hell happened there? Okay. So, I'm guessing we have a problem here. Let's abandon, abandon. Uh, just a second. Unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties. So, here, enjoy me wondering what's going on. Uh, great. Fantastic. Let's see here. Do, do I have... Uh, let's do that. And as you can see, we have a very, very, very small uh, turbo. Okay, I have turbo on. Interesting. I had turbo on in the DOS box settings. So let's try that again. Drive menu, championship season. I don't know how that got turned on. on. Apparently, some of the shortcuts are the same than what I have in OBS. Okay, now it's working. So yeah, we don't want turbo. Turbo bad. Excellent. Well, yeah, let's uh, go and check out the car setup here. Uh, we have a very aggressive setup for the, for this race. Uh, a lot of front down force and very low rear wing. Uh, this is a very basic 
GP2 setup, which I usually use for race, uh, for for keyboard, and and it's very aggressive uh, to use with a wheel because it's so easy to lose the, the rear of the car. But at the same time, it's it's very uh, very very fast setup, so it's it's competitive, and because I'm very very familiar with with this with this circuit, I've been driving here uh, billions of, of uh, sorry, billions of times, so I, I, I'm brave enough to kind of try out this setup. And that should help us with the straight line speed, because we don't have that much oomph in the, in the engine. Let's take some fuel off at first, and uh, actually let's go to the accelerated time for a moment cancel yes Damon Hill 159 that's the kind of uh, hello since studio great to see you oh the sounds they're they're so beautiful yeah that's the kind of uh, Will you do two qualifying sessions? I don't know. Uh, if I get a good lap, then uh, I'll probably settle with that. And the engine is very loud. That's actually, it should be loud so I can hear things. So, off we go. Yeah, if I get a good lap, then I'll probably settle with it. You get only 10 laps per qualifying session, so we'll see if we have to try out the second qualifying session. Oh dear, oh dear! I wasn't, wasn't focusing. I, I looked at the chat and yeah, that that's how. Oh, this is amazing. That's how you should turn the car around. Oh, the engine is too loud. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's try to fix it. Shall we? Uh, we'll. Turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. Uh, should be fine now, I think. I turned it down a little bit, so please, please tell if it's if it's uh, too loud. Is it better now? Because everybody has to hear my voice. It's more important than the engine sound. No, it's not. Sounds better. Thank you. Okay. And here we go. First qualifying lap of the season and as I said before I'm quite nervous this race could go e e any way any which way it, it could be a brilliant success or it might be a terrible disaster that bump is so weird Almost lost the rear there. This is not a good lap. Uh, 
Uh, this is a very bad lap, actually. Not a single good corner. Jesus Christ. Seventeen, one, eighteen, three, and position ten at the moment. We'll have another go. A very bad first corner. I'm really, really concentrating here, so... Missed the apex there. It's, it's a lot better, but I'm still not very happy with this. Yeah. I'd probably I'll, I'll be happy if I'm in the 16s. The curbs are death traps in this game. You you really have to be careful with them. Better lap, but we're running out of fuel. Can we make it? I think we can. 16.8. Okay, I'm actually I'm quite happy with that. And uh, because we don't have any more fuel, we can't get to the pits, so we'll cheat a little bit. Sorry. That was an okay-ish lap. Uh, actually, s very close to the Ferraris. That's 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 a positive thing. I think uh, we have the car to fight for points here, and sometimes even beat a Ferrari or two if everything goes perfectly. But we'll see. David Coulthard currently behind us, which is surprising. Uh, we still have time, so I think we'll have. One more go. Okay, tr three laps of fuel. That's nice. Yeah, faster than DC. I think DC in this game, in the vanilla game, is a little bit too fast. He's usually fighting for the championship. I don't think we're going to go to the second qualifying session because I'm already quite happy with the lap but if we can improve it a little bit then that's very nice would be very nice I'm hoping for a good start uh, for the season well obviously I'm hoping I'm not hoping for a bad start though but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping for points, because in AIDA, I don't think we're going to get any. I suck at AIDA. 
It's a horrible track and I hate it. Whereas with this track, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm the fastest here, but I like it and it's, I'm very familiar with it. Uh, not a great first corner. And also there's, there's a slow car in front that might cause us problems. A uh, very good first sector, actually. But this guy here... Come on, let me go. Well, I locked the front wings and... That's... The end of that. Front wings. Did I say that I locked the front wings? Front tires. Did not. Yes, uh, Larousse, yeah. And now there's uh, footwork in, in front. Let's wait a little bit. Let's try again. I d I'm not sure if we have enough fuel for another lap, but we'll try. No, I don't actually think that going to be enough, so let's forget about that. Oh, what a beautiful parking job. Every year from 1997, Coulthard would say the press, this is my year. Yeah, I know. I mean, David really had a championship winning car uh, many, many years, but he never got even close, so, yeah. But in this game, he, he might just win the championship if everything goes perfectly for him. Let's, I, I have to try one more time because... Because I, I think this, we, we can, we can... Have have a better result, and I don't uh, want to start from the mid back in the in the race because it's it's very dangerous. Top six would be awesome. I would be very happy with that in the qualifying. In the race there will be retirements, uh, and yeah, I forgot to mention I actually have all the. Uh, uh, mechanical failures on, so it might be that we'll suffer from those, so that's another thing to be worried about. Uh, backmarkers in GP2 are a bit better, in my opinion, than in, in GP1. They give you more space and they they actively try to get out of the way, but you still have to be very, very careful with them. But uh, if you treat them the same way you would treat human players in iRacing, you, you're probably fine. Oh dear. Very, very bad through there. So important to catch the first apex in the first corner because otherwise you lose a lot of time. And I lost it. Course done, diddly done it. I must do a lot better in the race. Actually, no, don't, not like that. Okay, let's just try to save some fuel and 
get another lap. Okay. One more time. This is the I, I'm calling it. It's the final qualifying lap. Make it or break it. Although I'm not sure if we have enough fuel. Fantastic first sector. With my luck, this will be the lap of the century, and then we'll run out of fuel in the, before the finish line. But that corner was horrible. Okay, boost white. Yeah, I don't think we're going to improve our time. Nope. Yeah. Okay, let's see where we end up here. Still fifth. Still better than DZ. Excellent. Let's view the session times. Uh, yeah, that, that was actually a very good result from the first qualifying session, but there are, like, DZ is probably going to go fast in the second qualifying. And also we won our teammate, Barrichello, which is nice. That's another goal that I have. I have two goals, basically to uh, get Jordan to top five in the Constructors Championship uh, like they did in real life in 1994 and also to win my teammate so I'll be happy with that and actually I've used all my tires so let's just go to the accelerated time shall we there we go DC Michael Schumacher Hill And let's check out where we end up. Friedrich Bang, still fifth. That was surprisingly well done, in my opinion. I'm I'm very very surprised. I didn't expect to win DC, but yeah, uh, I want to get a couple of laps under my belt with with a heavy fuel load. Because the car is very different, and luckily in this game you can practice beforehand a little bit with a heavy car. And I made a lot of mistakes in the qualifying, so I kinda want to feel at least a little bit more. Uh, Secure before the race. I, I really have to shut up and not look at the chat because otherwise horrible things will happen once again. Actually the car feels pretty good with the fuel load. Uh, 
I'm sorry since studio there is uh, the chat automatically appears to delete the links from the from the chat and I, I actually is your blank where okay I think it is I did some testing I it, it shouldn't shouldn't wear too badly. Okay, I, I feel comfortable now. I think it's time to go to the race. And hope for the best. I just want to try out the pit entry once. I didn't really practice that on qualifying. That was alright, I suppose. And hello, guys. Yes. Let's go to the race, shall we? And then we have to decide the strategy. And I think one stop, two stops. I think two stops is, is the way to go. At least it's it's kind of a conservative way to go. I don't know if it's, if it's the fastest one, but I think we, we will be fine with that. We don't have too much tire wear so that the car becomes impossible to drive uh, but we we're, we're still having yeah not too many pit stops so that's all right so here's this here's the grid Schumacher Hill Berger Berger Alesi very good qualifying for the Ferraris bang DZ Hakkinen Barrichello Katayama Frentzen Morbidelli and all the rest. Jos Verstappen, very, very poor qualifying for him. With a similar car to uh, Schumacher. Zanardi, Martini, and David Brabham rounds off the grid. So, yeah, there we go. Excellent! And it's the moment of truth. Now, let's just try to survive the first corner, and I'm now going to shut the heck up and concentrate. A very, very poor start. Very, very poor start. Jesus. Oh, man. Dropped down to eight. Not cool. Okay, let's just have some patience here. We're alive. Mika, here I come. This is the area of the track where I'm very, very slow.
Ruben seemed to be very very fast. He is right at the back, back of the Ferraris and I'm currently struggling a little bit. Sweating, I'm so nervous at the moment. Not feeling very confident at the moment. I wonder if the guys are around me are running with lighter cars Because the lack of pace that I currently have is, is very much surprising me That was a better, better lap though But almost 4 seconds behind Barrichello at the moment Sauber behind is currently faster than me, which has me a little bit worried. Oh man, this is going to be a long race, I really, really have to concentrate all the time. The car just wants to kill you every chance it gets.
Okay. Lap number seven is going to start, and I, I think that I'm a little bit faster now. I'm starting to find my pace. This corner here is so, so very tricky, you lose the rear so easily and there's no way of catching the slide if you do. Constantly have to listen to the car very carefully because there's no force feedback. The only indication you get from the rear tires is the rear tires squeaking. And as you can see, the steering is very, very sensitive in straight line. It might be an issue on some other tracks, but. Over here I can I can cope with it. don't have uh, any time to uh, watch what's going on around me but it seems to me that the gap is staying about the same to front and that was a mistake yeah 4.2 seconds but very very poor first corner from me I don't have any time to look at the chat at the moment, so sorry about that, guys. A very slow first sector by me, unfortunately. Friedrich Bank train! What a horrible lap. Everyone in front just disappeared into the horizon. I have to do better than that. If I want to get any points from this race. 122, that's... That's horrible. But hey, this is my pace at the moment. Went in a little bit too fast there and it was very scary.
I'm losing to my teammates. That's a, that's a bad thing. We don't like that. Five point one seconds. The gap to front. Mark Blundell in the pits. Driving is so intense. I mean, the race doesn't look very interesting at the moment, but I'm I'm crapping my pants all the time here. No, 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 no. Very nearly lost the rear of the car. There are yellow flags. What's going on here? It's a Williams! Holy crap! That was a Williams spinning. Very, very dangerous situation. I wonder which one it was. I, I didn't see it very well. I very nearly spin spun myself in the hairpin. That Williams is coming fast from behind. Okay, let's try to concentrate and regroup here a little bit. Hooray, we've already sur survived for 14 laps, no, 13 laps. Very nearly spun. I think for the next race we'll have to pick up a more conserva conservative setup because this is like dancing with the death. I cannot attack the corners at all because the rear just wants to overtake me all the time. And the Williams got past the Sauber now. And next up is probably going to want to overtake me.
Another yellow flag. Overshot the corner. And that's a Benetton! Holy crap, everybody's spinning! We're fifth! And Rubinho is coming to the pits. Yeah, the Williams behind is hungry for success. Michael Schumacher in the pits. Apparently he got some damage. No. Horrible mistake. And the Williams got past. Round the outside. Oh, the humiliation. DC in the pits, he's currently second. So it was Hill who spun and Rubinho in the pits, so we'll inherit, I think, fourth place now. And we still have 10 laps to go. So we can now run with a lighter car. Hopefully a little bit faster. Bunch of people having very early pit stops, which is Interesting. Yama in the pits. People are, people are really, really pitting very early. So that might, might explain why we were so badly off the pace in the beginning of the race. Hopefully things will turn around a little bit after that. Nope! Oh my god. But I must say that my driving is not very good today. I'm feeling nervous and not very confident. I did some practicing on this track and I was a lot better. So perhaps... The pressure of the live stream is getting the best of me.
still no retirements in this race, I think. Or have I missed something? It's very surprising. Tires are not great anymore. The lap times are falling a little bit. And now we have some traffic, lap traffic in front, hopefully. They cause us no problems. Okay, thank you. As you can see, they let you by pretty nicely. Usually. No! Damn it! And uh, no more rear tire. Oh man. So that's it. That's the end of the race. Everybody, it's over. It's over. God damn it. It's all over. I can't go anywhere. There's there's Friedrich Bang. Can't get the car moving. Wait a minute. Yes, I can. Okay, go, go, go. We're still alive. We're still alive, everybody. Nope. I, I think I shouldn't go to the track. Come on. Never give up. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, what we learned from this is that uh, we should use a little bit more uh, conservative setup. And there he goes, Friedrich Bang out of the race. Oh man, that's that's disappointing. That's that's very 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 disappointing indeed. Yeah. Bye bye everybody. And here comes Jos Verstappen. Yeah, that sucks. That really really sucks. I guess my my rear tires just wore out and oops, look at this. Ferrari having problems. Yeah, I, I could have recovered from the from the spin, but unfortunately the lapped car hit me after the spin, and yeah, it's it's impossible without the rear tire. Sometimes you can save it if you're uh, in, in the right place and, and you are in, a, in, the, in an asphalt, but yeah, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. Oh well. Sucks to be me. I was hoping for a good start for the season. But that obviously didn't happen. John Alesi having a good race actually. He's third at the moment. Yeah. This sucks. It would have been very interesting to see how the strategies kind of work out. Because clearly, clearly, you know, 
we were off the base in the beginning because the cars around us were running a bit lighter and that could have turned around in the end. Let's see here. Verstappen versus Alesi. Ford versus Ferrari. Ferrari, yes. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the sad ending, guys. Uh, next up, it's Aida, obviously. And... Uh, that's going to be very, very difficult indeed. But I have to... kind of think about how I set up the car. Because... Today, it, it felt really, really uncomfortable, and the rear just constantly wanted to overtake me, and it finally did. And that sucked, obviously. We all love Aida. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We all hate it. Now let's see what's going on. Mika Hakkinen currently third. DC second. Gerhard Berger is leading the race. Haha! <laughs> That's a surprise. I wonder he's he's got 14 laps worth of fuel left. So he's probably going to beat twice. Barry Kellot, when this what, what's going on with you man? 25th. He's all over the place. What? 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 Is he having some sort of technical difficulties? I don't see anything like that. This is some weird driving, man. Maybe he is in such a big shock because of the retirement of Friedrich Bang. Damon Hill, fast at lap. I don't know what he was trying to do, like, was he trying to let him go? Or what? I, I don't know, that, that was weird. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Come on, Rubinho! So obviously he's had some problems, so it's going to be a terrible start for the season, of the season for, for Jordan. Terrible, terrible start. No points for Jordan. What, what, what else is going on? Nice battles here. Schumacher versus Alberto. Oh man, this, that, that, this is all very disappointing to me. Yeah, hopefully uh, Friedrich Bang doesn't get a ban. Yeah, actually Friedrich Bang did better than Irvine in the first race. Hooray! Fantastic! Olivia Beretta having problems. It's it's fun how how much the AI drivers make mistakes in this game. It's completely different compared to GP1. I mean, they sometimes made mistakes in GP1 as well, but uh, not this much.
1994 was a naughty season in every single way. Oh man, this Sauber, I it's 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 a beautiful car. I was kind of contemplating to try for Sauber this season, but I don't remember why I decided to go for Jordan. I think, for one thing, at least according to GP Edit, uh, the Jordan is more reliable. So that's that's always a bonus in this game. I usually, when I used to drive this with my keyboard, I used to drive it with uh, McLaren, and uh, and usually. Okay, now there's Bernard. Oh, he's just letting them by. Schumacher versus Frenchen. Yeah, uh, I used to drive a lot for the McLaren, and uh, yeah, the 1994 McLaren was very, very unreliable, and uh, I got a lot of retirements because of the car, and that sucked. But yeah, next up it's going to be Aida. I don't think we're going to watch the en entire race like this, unfortunately. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the... You can use the track editor to find the fast strategy. Yeah! Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that. I like kind of guessing. And, and the fastest strategy is not always the fastest strategy, like but like the best strategy. You can like, if, if you get a good uh, qualifying and have a nice, nice uh, starting position, you can kind of put some more weight to the car and ruin the races of the people that are behind you. Like that, uh, just, you know, don't let them pass, obviously. But yeah, what, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here uh, and go and follow in my own disappointments. I, I really would have hoped a better race, but this is how this turned out. But anyway, th uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to go here and we get... Oh, an appropriate car! Excellent! Let's go to the accelerated time and see how things turn out. Berger still in the lead. Okay, now he dropped the third. And things are happening very quickly. Michael Schumacher, what a comeback. He's third now after his, his spin. And did he just got the second place in the final lap? I think he did. He overtook Berger in the final lap. That's interesting. Yeah, he's, he was third. Anyway, Hill, Schumacher, Berger, Coulthard, Hakkinen, Katayama. And I think Turrell will be one of our worst uh, com competitors when it comes to the Constructors' Championship. Though, so that was a bad loss. Indeed. But Schumacher made a huge comeback after his, his problems. And we only got three retirements. That's surprising. Usually there are a lot more. Uh, the Chesser is... Yeah, that's why I didn't choose the Sauber. <laughs> they don't have a very reliable car. But Friedrich Bang, dead last, didn't finish because of a crash. So that's that's unfortunate. I think, you know, we were clearly ahead of Katayama when we... when we... Um, uh, retired, so we could have definitely, and uh, actually we were also in front of Hakkinen. I think we were outpacing him, so we could have been fifth. But to finish fifth, you first have to finish. Unfortunately, but yeah, hopefully. Well, I'm not expecting too much from Aida. I'm slow there, and if I will set up the car more, like less aggressive. 
uh, so that it's easier to drive, I will lack the pace. So we'll just have to hope that we'll get a gazillion retirements and get a point because of that. So that, that's, that's what I'm hoping for Aida. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you again in the next race. Bye-bye.